Hi, my name is Willem Bati and I'm Jonathan's dad and also his business partner. Yesterday I flew from Africa heading to Fiji but on the way I got stuck in Hong Kong uh, because of the demonstration. It's, uh, right behind me here there were just lots of people there yesterday so the flights were all cancelled and I'm still in Hong Kong. Uh, I'm stuck here and hopefully I can uh, get out from here and go to Fiji uh, within the next two days. All right, so the first leg of the journey has started. We are off, well, I am off to Seattle, Los Angeles, and then Fiji. So, let's do this. I downloaded this mobile passport app and I literally passed like a thousand people on the passport line. So if you're coming and your port of entry is Seattle, I think there's a few others as well, or you have a US or Canadian passport, definitely download that before you come, enter your information, and those people will be waiting for probably an hour at least. And I just passed everybody and I'm at the baggage carousel waiting for my bag. It was awesome. Wow. So I made it to LA. And one thing I've noticed about most of the places that I go is that I always end up in the most ghetto terminals. Whether I'm traveling domestically in Canada or overseas to Fiji or wherever. Like, I mean, look at this place. It's like a big commercial warehouse or something. I don't know. There's no respect out here, man. No respect. Getting on a flight now, though. Last flight. Off to Fiji, 11 hours. Gonna be a good time. This is pretty crazy. My dad just called me and there's been protests going on in mainland China right now regarding people being extradited to mainland China. And these protests have flared up and they just took over Hong Kong airport and they've shut it down. No incoming flights, no outbound flights, everything shut down. So dad's actually stranded in Hong Kong right now. So I got to contact uh, Fiji Airways and see what's going on, see, we don't have any details, so we just need to figure out what's happening. He was supposed to be here in the morning where we were going to catch our connecting flight to Lombasa, which is about 45 minutes from where the farm is. So I'll keep you guys posted. We're going to see what happens here. Um, never a dull moment, I will say. Okay, so here's the plan today. Dad still hasn't arrived, so I'm going to go to the airport, try to reschedule our flights. I mean, to go domestic to the farm. The thing is, it's mostly a business trip, but family's also important, so I want to balance that. My dad wanted to surprise his parents um, with the trip. They don't know we're coming, so it's really like one last time, potentially, that we might be able to surprise them as they're getting quite old. So I'm gonna go try to take care of some luggage issues that he's had with Hong Kong, and also try to reschedule our domestic flights. So we'll keep you guys posted. Okay. So here's the deal. Dad got his flight rescheduled to leave tomorrow from Hong Kong. That means he's gonna get here on Thursday. It's currently Tuesday here, so I gotta get out of this hotel. Um, I only had the one night booked and take all my stuff to another hotel. Okay, it's been a while since I've gotten a workout in. Probably, I think two days now. So, gonna hit some push-ups. Got some floor space. If you got floor space, it means you got workspace. So gonna do a little bit of a workout, burn some calories, 
and then get to work. So dad gets in this morning, but in the meantime, let's go find an epic sunrise. When I think about yesterday. <laughs> my, oh my. My, oh my. A kiss and so I did. 